why would you choose the Leica M10 or M10P specifically, which the M10P also shares, shares the same sensor as this one. Why would you get this camera when there's the M240 or 262 that are much cheaper, or even the M10R, which has a 46 megapixel sensor, and that one is brand new and has a better sensor. Why would you choose this one? Well, you think about the price to you know performance ratio, and you have to decide on what is better for you. The M10 uh, has a better low light sensor. It's just a fact compared to the M240, M262. Uh, in the daytime, you're not really gonna tell a difference. But when you get into low light, that's when there's the big difference, right? So why did I get the M10? Because it's better at low light. It's just a fact. And I covered this with uh, Samuel Lintaro too as well uh, in a video, so here's that. So, oh hi Mark, when it comes to getting the M10, you should consider, are you going to be shooting at night, primarily, half the time? You know, this is, this is the big factor, this is why I got the M10, is because I do shoot at night. Probably 50% of the time, I'm shooting at night, so I do care about the low light. I would say that with this camera, comfortably, I'm shooting at ISO 6400. I would say when it gets to 12,800 is when the colors start to fall apart. And it's not really that bad and I like the grain structure of the M10. So when that happens, I do have to decide, you know, from an artistic standpoint, do I want the colors at 12,800 or should I change it to black and white? And a lot of times, I do change it to black and white because, because those colors do tend to fall apart at about 12,800. So up to 6,400, I really think this sensor is fantastic at low light. And uh, even, even stop down, you know, I'm, no I'm normally shooting around F4, F2.8 at night. And so that's where I like to, to be. I could shoot at F2, I could shoot at F1.4 if I want to with some of my other lenses, but uh, I really try to get everything in focus as much as possible. And that means I'm, you know, stopping down my lens more to get more in focus. And that means I'm, I'm bumping up the ISO. So that's what, I, that's what you always have to be thinking about. Are you somebody that shoots wide open? Or are you somebody that shoots more closed down like me? So think about that. Think about that. Take you all to this famous street up here. Get somebody coming down from the left and then coming up from the right side. So metering modes with this camera, you should be mindful of how you meter with a rangefinder camera. Honestly, if you're coming from a film camera, a film M camera, and then you go to this one, you can easily do some spot metering. You can expose for the shadows or the highlights, focus, recompose. That's how I do my metering at night. I'm, I'm doing spot. During the daytime, I'll do center weighted. I think that the highlight recovery with this sensor is really no problem. Uh, I can bring back the highlights with, with no real issue. I think uh, if you look at some of the cameras that were made around the time that this camera was made, uh, the highlight recovery, retention, shadow uh, recovery is on par with every other camera. So 
Uh, you know, I, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about when it comes to the previous generation, like the M240, M262, that's when highlight recovery and our uh, shadow retention and all those kind of things are, are a little bit worse. And so you really do have to expose very carefully with the previous cameras compared to this one. And that's also another reason of why I got the M10 compared to those other cameras. So it's, it's really a lot that you have to think about, you know, the price jump from the M240, M262 to the M10 is very significant, but you have to think about the fact that if you mess up your exposure on those previous cameras, you've lost your photo, you've lost the, the real kind of true image quality of that photo. And, and that's the thing is I, I have room to mess up with the M10 and I mess up quite often, so.